In comes the 40 range, not bad, finishing up on 321 iron and 9.3k fire runes. Give me the fucking Limpert route. There goes 30 thieving, very nice. So I can now go ahead and do the feud quest. Your own cooking skill must be at least 70 before you can do that. Oh. Wait, you don't even have an own cooking skill. <laughs> And that's a feud quest officially completed. Give me that 15,000 XP. That should boost my thieving level up to 37. Very nice. Just got a medium clue scroll from a guard, so let's see what we get from this. And I just missed the capture on 42 thieving there. It went past so quickly. Um, so now we have everything we need to do Temple of Ikov. So sweet. Snake skin chaps. 51 crafting. Rip. I've decided to go for 4A fishing and cooking just so I can upgrade my food to lobsters and that allows me to drop my rod and my feathers. Hey, there goes 40 fishing and there's 40 cooking. Nice. So this is where the noted iron comes into play. I can unnote it at the bank right next to the anvil and also superheat them into bars right away, which gets me some good smithing and magic experience. You see me making iron arrowheads and that's because I decided to make a start on fletching. I did originally plan on using ecumenical keys in the wilderness for a primary money making source, but I figured fletching would probably be a lot faster and also safer since I don't have to go into the wilderness at all. So for cash I will be cutting, stringing and alshing maple longbows all just in Sears village and then eventually yew longbows as well. Fletch level of 35 now obtained. That's very nice. 20 more levels to go and we can start making some money. Took a small quest break from Fletching. Um, it turned out I couldn't actually do Temple of Ikov just because I couldn't get my hands on a U shortbow. Um, so this is me just doing Tribal Totem. There we go. Quest complete. And back to Fletching. 40 woodcutting sneaks in there, just leaving us one level off being able to use a rune axe. There we go, that's 40 fletching there, and um, this has taken so much longer than I thought it would, so I'm gonna get to 45 fletching and then start questing again. Three and a half years later, we finally get, wait for it, 50 woodcutting, and 45 fletching, very nice. Now that took way too long, and the reason for that is because I'm using a steel axe, so what I'm gonna do now is try and get my hands on an adamant axe, or maybe even a rune axe. Um, for the rune axe, I could camp lava dragons, but that has a high chance of me getting PK'd. So I'm going to go do some level 2 clue scrolls, hopefully get a adamant axe, and maybe even snipe some sneaky ranger boots. So I just realized this whole time the fire staff that I've been carrying has actually been a fire battle staff. So I can alsh that for some GPs. Oh yeah, so look at that cash stack. Beautiful! 50 strength, and still no clue scrolls. What is going on? Okay, so not only has this fucking clue scroll taken forever to drop for me, it's also making me spend all my money on the first step, and it's made me teleport all around the map just to do the bar crawl. If I, I swear, if I did not get six pairs of ranger boots, I will be fucking raging. There you go. Thank you very much for that casket, Mr. Pink Guy. Let's see what step number two is. Probably filled with wizard socks. Okay, that's easy enough. Thank Christ. Get out of these aggros and we shall open up the casket. Now, I would like a U short bow, um, adamant axe, a pair of ranger boots would be nice. I wouldn't mind a Zamorak cloak, and while you're at it, Jagex, just give me two, Bill. Thank you very much. In comes 51 strength for the total level of 700, and if he dropped a clue scroll, this will be insane. Ah, maybe next. 15 minutes later, and clue scroll number two. Let's go. Oh, ladder god, he's so random. You see, I always knew Pontac was a sneaky kind of guy, but I never would have guessed he was the kind of guy to hide ranger boots in his farm patch. I've got my hands on Bloodborne now, and that may slow progress down just a little bit, um, but I got a clue scroll. This is round about step four or five. Um, it requires us to get a blue snail helmet, so in order to get that, I'm going to have to do Priest in Pearl. So I shall see you at the end of the quest. 69 quest points. And drum roll please. It's given me the same step twice in the one clue scroll, so I'm hoping that means something lucky is about to happen. Do 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 do. And Mythkite. That's no use to me at the moment. Okay, moving on. Whoo! Good thing I kept that snail helmet. Jeez. And for pile of shit number five of the week, we get 
Doopity boo. Some go. <gasps> Adamant axe. Back to Fletching then. So I've decided to get 55 mage first before going to Fletching, and the reason for that is because it gives me a lot more space in my inventory, and also I can just camp at Sears Village with my gnats, and I'll show the bows as I get them. And who knows, I might get a cheeky obby cape or a nice obby mall drop, and yeah. 49 to 55 magic, and not a single drop, unless this one here drops something nice. But um, yeah, can't really complain. We can now high ash, which is gonna earn us a lot of moolah. And finally, we finish this week off with 55 fletching. I also got 60 wood cutting on the way, which is really nice. Um, so now money is not going to be a problem, and we can move on to much bigger and better things. So quick look at my inventory and my stats and all that. Nothing too incredible. And we have gained around about 200 levels since the last video. And in just two weeks, we're heading into the top 500 high scores for the Ultimate Iron Man, which is just completely nuts. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you want to continue with me on this progress. And yeah, I'll see you next week.